I'm here to tell you about the negative effects starlings have on our native birds here in North America and elsewhere. Let's watch the video and find out more. So what is a starling? Well, the starling is an old world songbird, also known as the common starling or European starling. It is native to Europe, Northern Africa, and Southwest Asia. Starlings are a cavity nesting bird and will nest in almost any cavity that they can find. They especially are attracted to holes in buildings and other man-made structures. They also like to nest in woodpecker holes and nest boxes. So how do you identify starlings? As you can see, starlings are dark, chunky birds. They're about eight and a half inches long with a long pointed bill. When flying, you'll note their short square tail and triangular wings. In the winter, their bill is black and their body is covered with white spots. By spring, their bill turns yellow and they lose their spots. Breeding birds are an iridescent purple and green. Juvenile starlings are a drab grayish brown. As they molt, they will attain dark feathers with white spots like an adult. Although starlings can look black in color and associate with blackbirds, they are not members of the New World blackbird family. The Old World starling family is their lineage. Why are starlings an invasive species where they've been introduced? Well, starlings have been introduced in North America, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Argentina, and elsewhere. Where they are introduced, they often outcompete native cavity nesting birds. They reproduce quickly and spread aggressively. They are not a protected species in North America where they can be legally eliminated. Wherever they are introduced, they are not protected and you can legally remove their nest, eggs, and young. In comparison, native birds are protected and you cannot harm them or their nests. So how do they outcompete native cavity nesting birds? Starlings are very aggressive and persistent and are almost always successful at evicting other birds from their nesting cavities. The starling population is so large that they outnumber native cavity nesting birds. The native birds are relatively defenseless against the starlings as they did not evolve together. I've even witnessed starlings attacking each other while fighting for a nesting site. Woodpeckers are especially vulnerable to starlings. The starlings will wait for woodpeckers to excavate a cavity and then attack the woodpeckers until the woodpeckers finally give up. When a starling chooses a cavity to use, they will destroy the eggs, the young, and even the adults of the native birds using the cavity. They use their long pointed bill to stab and injure or even kill their competition. Once a site is acquired, they may build a nest on top of existing eggs or young. They begin nesting before migrants ar arrive on their breeding grounds and hence prevent them from nesting successfully. They are able to evict birds as large as wood ducks from their nests. They can also evict kestrels, owls, flycatchers, and purple martins. So how can you control starlings? I find trapping starlings to be the best method of controlling their numbers so that native birds can nest successfully. When you remove a pair of starlings from the population, you are also removing their offspring from the population. With starlings producing two broods of five each, that is two parents and ten offspring that will not compete with native birds. If you provide nest boxes for flicker woodpeckers, you have to trap the starlings to prevent them from evicting the woodpeckers. So what effect do starlings have on native birds? Well, every time a pair of starlings prevent a pair of native birds from nesting, they reduce the native bird population and increase the starling population. If native birds aren't raising young, their population will continue to fall. Starlings like to nest in the open, the same habitat preference of flicker and red-headed woodpeckers. These two species are both in decline, and I believe starlings are the main reason why. According to the North American Breeding Bird Survey, northern flickers numbers have decreased about 50% since the mid-1960s, while red-headed woodpeckers have declined 70% since that time. So let me share some of my experiences. I've witnessed starlings destroying eggs, killing the young, and fighting with adult flicker woodpeckers. 
stabbing the defenseless flickers with their bill. I trap and eliminate between 100 and 400 starlings a year in my yard using baited and nest box traps. Imagine a pair of woodpeckers defending against that many starlings. Since I began trapping starlings, the flicker woodpeckers are able to nest successfully every year in my yard. In 2017, I had three pairs nest here. Great crested flycatchers are able to nest every year in my yard as well because I control starlings. On the farm, red-headed woodpeckers have nested successfully in a nest box as well as wood ducks and multiple pairs of flickers. Do you live in a location where starlings have been introduced? What bird species do they compete with where you live? Do you control their population? Leave the answers to these questions in the comments below the video. If this is the kind of video you like, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button below the video. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on the Backyard Birds channel.